Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday night. It is the Earthmaster out here. July 14th, 2024. It's about 11 p.m. 11 p.m. 1101 p.m. California time here. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.1 into the uh, California area. Also 3.2 down here into the South America region. Right around the Chile area where it's been uh, fairly quiet. Looks like things are starting to uh, maybe stir back up there in that area in terms of earthquake movement. Definitely seen a handful, I'd say maybe a more than a handful of deep earthquakes here around the Fiji area in the last 24 hours here. Uh, still watching this little zone here, this gap zone of quietness from about Papua New Guinea eastward here along this plate boundary. Uh, for the most part, when we see a lot of deep activity here in this region, that means things are Things are building up and they're straining along this plate boundary. That's the general plate direction, general plate stress here along this plate boundary. So it's been absolutely quiet aside from, I think we've seen maybe a couple earthquakes up here around the Papua New Guinea area, Bismarck Sea region uh, yesterday or the day before. A couple fives, but look at this. Still a huge gap in between this area. Watch that pretty closely. I think we're going to see something pop off here in a big fashion soon. Uh, down here across the Australia area, Southeast Indian Ridge, seen a five-pointer earlier this afternoon. Well, just before noon. Can't really say afternoon, right? Because that's before noon. Uh, aside from that, uh, getting some movement up here across the Filipino plate once again. Uh, most of this activity, though, from earlier this morning. Really nothing new to report here across this area. Uh, it's a handful of deeper quakes and uh, some surface adjustment going on there across that area. Uh, New Zealand, let's see what we got going on down there. Quite a few threes, a four-pointer along the Kermadec Trench. But look at this huge gap right here. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting and watching here for that movement. Uh, the rest of the plate out here, as far as the Pacific plate goes, fairly quiet across the Aleutian Trench there. Five-pointer, or uh, four-pointer, excuse me, from earlier this morning. Out in the beautiful Pacific here, Central Pacific, as far as volcanic activity goes around Hawaii. Well, we're dropping down to about nine earthquakes here around the Kilauea Summit area. On that note, let's just double-check, make sure we got the uh, latest information here on the... Um, activity or lack thereof I should say right now for Kilauea Volcano and let's see here seismograph station I want to check this one out right about here let me zoom in a little bit closer here where this earthquake activity is occurring uh, a very small microquake activity out here there's still quite a bit quite a bit of uh these little very small spiky quakes and there's way more than what's shown up here on the USGS map but I don't think they account for all of these smaller quakes but this reminds me of uh, extreme brittle rock breaking brittle ground and uh, it's just there's a lot there's definitely a lot of earthquakes there uh, on that seismograph station there across this area but only a handful of earthquakes being reported they don't report all of them obviously but uh there's still definitely quite a few earthquakes on the uh, raw data. As far as what's going on below the ground in terms of inflation, let's see what we have here for the in inflation data. Uh, still uh, looks like we're going back up here in the last few hours. We were taking a, a nose, no, not really a nosedive, but a little leveling off here in terms of inflation recently, but now we're going back up. Back up on the weekly chart and steady as she goes on the past month. Just a matter of time, I suppose, before things get to a breaking point, right? I thought it would have happened by now, but apparently uh, the Kilauea volcano there has a little bit uh, something else in mind. Uh, let's see, west coast area, anything major going on? A couple earthquakes down here on the San Andreas Fault near Desert Hot Springs, 0.6. Nothing big, but this is the area that one day is going to produce something big, <laughs> big time. Talking about 8.1 or about an 8.1, I think, is maximum magnitude here for this area, the southern branch. Uh, for now, though, it's fairly quiet. A handful of smaller quakes out here. Really no major swarms going on here. And if you look at Northern California, a handful of smaller quakes out here as well. 
uh, and also down around the uh, uh, San Francisco, uh, up around the San Francisco area. A couple of smaller microquakes. Nothing major going on here across the uh, region. Mount St. Helens seen a handful of smaller quakes there across the area. So let's go check out Mount St. Helens real quick, uh, which is sitting at a green, obviously, but they have been looking at a little bit of earthquake activity here recently up at the summit area. Well, I should say below the summit area, about five to six kilometers deep. Uh, we'll check out the seismograph station here and... Uh, some of these other noises out here, they look like earthquakes. They could be deep earthquakes is, uh, is what I'm guessing. So maybe some deeper quakes. Uh, the localized earthquake activity is going to be in these well-defined spiky quake events. And, uh, you know, similar to other areas, uh, if there's not a seismologist that reviews every single spike out here, we're not going to see that posted here to the earthquake catalog. So there's only three earthquakes that's uh, that is being reported there across Mount St. Helens but as you can see here on the graph there is a lot more than just three uh, they did recently get their gas emission stations up and running here thankfully so we can look at the data coming in now carbon dioxide H uh, let's go down here to the hydrogen sulfide looks fairly minimal um, Carbon dioxide, sulfur, sulfur dioxide looks level as well. There's a little spike here back on the 27th, it looks like. Very small amount. Uh, but since then, it looks like we've leveled out. Uh, really nothing of major interest right now. But I'm glad. I'm definitely glad that they got this up and running. Because this is, uh, you know, it's data that should be transparent between the government here and the people at hand. All right, uh, what else we got here for any major earthquake activity? Oklahoma shaking out here a little bit. Uh, quite a few reports coming in around the uh, uh, Winoka area. East Campbell gas field. There's quite a few gas fields out here, folks. If you didn't know, pull up the satellite imagery here, and you'll see many, many of them out here. And literally right underneath, or I should say right atop these earthquakes. Uh, these earthquakes occurring anywhere from surface level down to about six kilometers or so. And, you know, there's obviously some factual data regards to, uh, in regards to the uh, earthquake activity, fracking, uh, and the oil field business out here. It's been proven, it's, and uh, it will continue t for some time. All these little checkered boxes out here are uh, oil pumping operations and whatnot. So earthquakes occurring in oil fields, nothing new. 3.9 there, the latest quake. There in uh, Oklahoma being felt by quite a few folks out there. It's a moderate level, maybe light to moderate level, uh, east of the Woodward area. Uh, aside from that, uh, see what else we got here across the area. Nothing major going on. It's a little bit of oil field activity down here in Texas as well. Rest of the globe, or rest of the world, I should say. Globe here, 3.2. The uh, Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. 5.0 over here across the area. Where, where, where was that? Let's see here. Ooh, Pakistan. Seen a little bit of earthquake activity earlier this afternoon as well. Look at that plate boundary movement. You can see that that swirl and that motion up here. That's well defined. That is obviously some, you know, of course, over time, uh, some beautiful tectonic plate movement here at hand that uh, the mountain range is being pulled up like that. Beautiful. I love seeing that type of geology and structure out there in the uh, plate tectonic world. You can see some big earthquakes out there, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Space weather activity here, real quick. We'll try and keep this update short. By the way, we got uh, the drawing being held, held tomorrow, the member drawing here on this channel. So make sure you guys jump on board to become a member. Be entered into the magic... Um, I was going to say fishbowl, but I don't have that right now. So magic, uh, I'll figure it out. Magic container that uh, will hold the members for this month. And we'll pick out a lucky winner. Maybe two. We'll see. Uh, to win some prizes tomorrow. So make sure you jump on board. As uh, far as solar weather activity goes, still watching this region. Quite dynamic. But man, is it scooting rapidly over here across the western limb. Uh, still looking quite dynamic. Um... It did produce that X-flare recently and numerous M-flares. Nothing 
in terms of CME activity. Uh, watching this little area right here, center face of the sun. That's showing a little bit of complex uh, dynamic intermixing of the magnetic structure there. Also a couple newer regions out here along the eastern limb that uh, might harbor some potential here in the days ahead for some stronger flaring. We'll keep an eye on those areas. Uh, overall, the flare thread out here right now remains 15% for an X flare. The M flare is 65 and C flare around 99% chance or so. No major roars in the forecast there, folks. And a beautiful moon. I just checked that out uh, to our west. And um, that's about 65% full. Or half full. However you want to see that. Uh, either way, it's a, it's a beautiful moon up there in the nighttime sky right now. Uh, Storm Prediction Center out here. A little bit of noise being uh, made up there across the northern plains and whatnot. Still have a little bit of uh, tornado potential. Wind and some hail threats out there as well. I did see uh, what looked like maybe some type of funnel cloud or tornado activity around Chicago this evening. Pretty crazy. Uh, unconfirmed reports so. though. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Have yourself a wonderful evening. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. Yes, Monday. Monday is upon us, so stay safe out there. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Have fun.